My father said that writing a novel is like having a terrible illness with a sort of low-grade fever that lasts and lasts and lasts forever, like mono, and that writing a short story is more like having a terrible flu, but only for five days. The fact that it's a short story does not make it any easier, simpler, shorter. To me, it just seemed like I can slightly wrap my mind around a narrative that's in that form. When I'm writing something longer, I still feel like it's little short stories cobbled together. It's really demanding. Laurie King once said, I don't write stories because they're as hard as novels. You realize that every word has to count. It has to have a really crucial turn at the end. Something does have to happen. I see short stories as very much exercises in style. When I write them, they're very unemotional, and I often find that quite a cruel side of myself comes out in the short stories. A short story, it's something that I wouldn't start writing it until I had the whole thing. And then, of course, in the process of writing it, things changed and language changed and stories changed, but it was something that, for me, it was about writing something that was already complete at some level. It's all about boiling down, boiling down. And that's why I love short stories, because they're so potent, because it's all about being essential. There's an intensity in a short story that, in a novel, builds slowly. Since you generally have a relatively limited cast, those people who are walking around in your narrative, they have to be very living and breathing quickly. There's another realm in which you communicate in heart to heart. It comes down to believing in yourself. You have to believe that you're telling a unique story that will never be told unless you tell it.